whole town, if he's playing, they're all watching it on their TVs or at the pub. You know, and everybody knows, and it's brought together the community, I guess. And it has inspired children at the school that from a bush school, you can be anything. There's been some other handy cricketers, but nobody of, of the standard of Josh Hazelwood. I did actually teach him, um, you know, a couple of days a week because he just went to the local school that of course I taught at. So he was really quiet and really shy. And, and so I find it really interesting now that he does media conferences around the world. That's so, I would never have picked that. He first started when he was 12 years of age and he was so dedicated and he was so keen. In the country, the farmers are really doing it tough and a lot of people are actually selling their sheep and, and cattle because they can't afford bales of hay to feed their animals. The drought obviously hits a lot of areas in Australia pretty hard and um, you know cricket does suffer I guess or sport suffers in general. The grassroots cricket fund is, is very important to to kids in these type of areas. We're a united front on this, um, contributing to this fund um, through ACA and, and CA, so it's great to have everyone on the same page and the players are really proud to you know, put together over $30 million to the Grassroots Cricket Fund. You can put the grant towards a lot of things. I mean, facilities is probably the big thing in the country with you know, upgrade of nets, um, equipment. Clubs like Old Boys or, or wherever we are in Australia can get these grants and really put it towards a good use and help out the kids in the area. Everyone starts at grassroots cricket. If we can make that transition a lot easier um, for, for whoever it is, it's only going to benefit the game. If we don't continue the flow of kids coming into grade cricket and making their way through the grades, then it'll slowly start to die and no one wants to see that. So those juniors coming through mean cricket stays around in Tamworth. You can play footy with one pair of boots and, and that's probably all you need, to be honest. But cricket, you know, you need, you do need the gear. It's, it's one of those sports where, um, you know, you need it a good pair of shoes, whether it's spikes or whatever it is, and you need a good cricket bat, pads, helmet. I think sport can offer lots of opportunities, but you have to have a good work ethic and you have to stick at it. And if we can inspire the next generation to, I guess, choose cricket over another sport uh, by upgrading these facilities and, and you know, using the fund as best we can, um, we get that next generation coming through.